Welcome back to the Mark Janard Show, the tech show about hacking. This is an innovative, pivotal moment in history in terms of AI. I'm going to cover in this video the AI that, it, that learned how to make computer chips. So this deserves to be talked about. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. It was only a matter of time before machine learning transformed the world of chip design. Cadence Design Systems, which makes uh, design tools that engineers use to create chips, is using it to make chip engineers far more productive with its Cerebris Intelligent Chip Explorer machine learning tool. Automating chip design, which is the Electronic Design Automation, or EDA, has been evolving for decades with a hierarchy of tools operating at different levels of abstraction. Cadence got started in 1998 with the goal of using the benefits of computing to design the next generation of computing chips. But engineers have found it increasingly difficult to keep up with the intricate designs for chips that have billions of on-off switches dubbed transistors. The process of design has become like trying to keep track of all the ants on the planet. It's illegal! With machine learning, Cadence Design Systems has been able to add an extra layer of automation on top of the design automation tools engineers have been using for many years. Cam Cottrell, Senior Product Management Group Director in the Digital and Sign-Off Group at Cadence, said in an interview with VentureBeat. So I'm going to cover um, some of the things that were said. The results are pretty awesome. With machine learning, the company can get 10 times better productivity per engineer using the design tools, and they can get 20% better power, performance, and chip area improvements. That's a huge gain that could ultimately make each chip more affordable, reliable, and faster than it otherwise would have been, Cottrell said. That could mean billions of dollars saved. That this kind of productivity gain is necessary as Moore's law. The metronome of the chip industry has begun to slow. The law predicts that chip performance will double every couple of years, but lately the gains from moving to a new generation of manufacturing have been limited as we're entering a miniaturization technology on the uh, atomic level and running into barriers from the laws of physics. Meanwhile, with billions of transistors per chip, engineers who worked on chips uh, a few generations ago, like 20 nanometer chips, uh, can barely function with the requirements for chip design of today's seven nanometer chips, where the width between circuits is seven billionths of a meter. These are like three-dimensional uh, dimensional, uh, puzzles, uh, Cottrell said. So let's enter machine learning. With the compounding pressure to deliver new chips per, um, more quickly than ever before, engineers have to become increasingly efficient. Machine learning offers an answer, Cottrell said. Just as today's intelligent consumer devices provide users with information at their fingertips, Machine learning automates chip design processes so engineers can complete projects intelligently, faster with the fewer mistakes. Uh, so machine learning also creates a level engineering playing field. Whether you're an established uh, semiconductor player, a company outside the industry that has brought uh, chip design in-house or a small startup. There have been some refinements over the time for chip design, but it's been basically the same way. And so it's been getting more and more complicated for an engineer to take a chip through uh, to completion, Cottrell said. For example, someone who may be very good at building chips at 28 nanometers will have a huge learning curve to do a five nanometer chip today. The, te the technology has changed so much. Cerebrus doesn't replace the flow of tools and the way humans interact with the tools, but it works as a driver's assistant, Cottrell said. Uh, so power, performance, and area are always the key objectives that anyone drives whenever they're making a chip, uh, which is what Cottrell said. It has to be manufacturable, 
But after that, there's a squeeze on power and performance and area. And so uh, we use reinforcement learning in our Cerebius tool. It controls the tool and does experimentation for the engineer in order to help, in order to find the best solution. So let's talk about a helper. Machine learning isn't threatening the jobs of chip engineers who are more sought after than ever, Cottrell said. Rather than replacing them, machine learning has become an engineer's uh, helper, reducing the learning ramp up time and handling many traditional engineering tasks automatically. Nice. Cerebrus uses unique machine learning technology to drive the Cadence RTL to sign off implementation flow. Here the engineer designs on a level of abstraction where he or she can understand the logical flow of electrons through a chip. Cadence's existing earlier tools would take the logical flow and convert it to the physical layout of the chip. The logical level is the register transfer level and it is uh, converted to the final sign off tools and actual re um, actual placement and routing of um, wiring through a chip. Uh, there are often multiple ways to implement a logical design in a physical layout and optimizing that can save a lot of material, energy and cost. An engineer can handle this part of the design on one pass but Cerebrus can take another uh, run through it and improve the results. The engineer delivers the final design in a database format dubbed GDSII and then it's off to manufacturing. There's always a push to find a way to optimize for power performance and area. This can take a lot of time in the design process and this is where Cerebrus can help. Uh, it can take a list of anything within the RTL to GDSII and, to, and do experiments. You don't have to spend a lot of time training a model up front in order to get started. Right from the beginning, Cerebrus can start doing searches based on your vector and your design, and within a few runs, it can find a better solution, Cottrell said. From chip design to your living room, once the chip designer is done, they hand the design over to the factory uh, engineers. Inside a chip factory, there are hundreds of steps that are like an uh, assembly line to build a chip one layer of material at a time. Hey, that's pretty good. Robotics handle a lot of tasks, but machine learning has also been applied to the giant hardware machines that pattern materials on top of chips. Uh, this is what it takes to get the latest Nintendo Switch or PlayStation 5 into the hands of the gamer in your family. The results are, as previously mentioned, and they can help many different chip applications in consumer, hyperscale computing, 5G communications, automotive, and mobile design, Caden said. It scales engineering resources to handle more projects or bigger ones. Cadence already deployed the tool to uh, over a dozen customer locations across all of those applications, Cottrell said. Now the company is making the tool available to all customers. Cerebrus is part of the broader Cadence digital uh, full flow of tools. The machine learning can reinforce engineers considering solutions that humans might not explore. It also, des uh, uh, it also allows design learnings to be automatically applied to future designs and it offloads work from humans. It enables distributed computing with better on-premises or cloud-based uh, design. Renaissance customer Satoshi said in a statement that automated design flow optimization is critical for making products quickly and he said Cerebrus has improved design performance by more than 10%. So his company is adopting the technology for its latest projects. Samsung VP of Design Technology uh, Sang Yoon Kim said Samsung fo uh, Foundry used the Cerebrus tool and saw an 8% power reduction in its chip and 50% better timing, which improved overall in, uh, performance. It's taken a while for machine learning to impact chip design, but it's hard to find an industry that it won't impact. So let me know what you feel about this story i want to know your opinion i want to know what you are thinking please hit the subscribe button please hit the notification bell i love you stay safe see you on the next video